Hello everyone. Welcome to this session of coordinate geometry. In this session we are going to learn the basic concepts related to this topic. For understanding this, let's consider two axes, the horizontal axis. It is called x axis and the vertical axis. It is called the y axis and their point of intersection is called as origin. X axis is named as x x dash and y axis is named as y y dash. When these two axes are drawn in this way on any plane paper or any plane it divides that plane into four equal parts. This is first part called as first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and this is fourth quadrant. And the x axis possess positive values on the right side of the origin and it possess negative values on the left side of the origin. Similarly y axis possess positive values above the origin and it possess negative values below the origin. And these values of x and y axis help us to find the location of any point on the plane. For example, here is the point. I want the location of this point. And for finding the location, we require reference. So we'll take reference of x axis and y axis. So we can see that this point is covering two units on positive x axis and three units on positive y axis. So therefore its location will be given accordingly. Two units for x axis, three units for y axis. This kind of representation of the location of a point is called as coordinates. And the value of x axis is called as x coordinate. And the value of y axis is called as y coordinate. X coordinate is also called as abscissa and y coordinate is also called as ordinate. Talking about the coordinates, we can say it is a location of a point or in other words we can say it is address of the point. For example, if I want to write address of my home, I'll give the street number, the lane number, the area code, etc. All these things are references to reach my home. Similarly, these coordinates are the references for locating a point on the plane. Suppose we are given with a coordinates minus 3 comma minus 4 and we want to locate this point. So we'll first take the x coordinate that is minus 3 and x value is minus 4 that is y coordinate. Now we can see that they both are intersecting at this value. So this is nothing but minus 3 comma minus 4. So this is how coordinates work. Now let's talk about the sign of the coordinates. It depends on the quadrant in which they exist. And these two reference axes, x axis and y axis are called as coordinate axis. So now we know what are coordinates and what are coordinate axis. This whole system is called as coordinate system. And this system is given by the great French mathematician René Descartes. And therefore this coordinate system is named after him as Cartesian coordinate system. When concepts of this coordinate system are used in geometry, it is called as coordinate geometry. That is our title. In next few sessions, we are going to learn three important concepts under this title of coordinate geometry. Number one, distance formula. In this formula, we will learn when two points are given with their coordinates, how to find the distance between these two points. And the next concept we will learn, section formula. Under this concept, when two points are given with their coordinates and the line joining the two points, we will find the coordinates of the third point which is lying anywhere on this line segment which is dividing the line segment into the given ratio. And the third concept we will learn is area of triangle. In this concept, we are given with three points along with their coordinates and these three points are forming a triangle. Then we will see how to find the area of that triangle which is formed. So let's have a recap of this session. 